Hi, so in today's video, I want to go through mechanisms and understanding the basics of how drawing a mechanism works. So in mechanisms, we use arrows. So arrows showing where electrons start and where they end up. Now, where they end up depends on where that point is pointing. So this is their start and this is the end. Now, a little bit further in on what that arrow means, when I have a double headed arrow, like this one here, that's two electrons. When I have a single headed arrow, So that's a single headed arrow, that's one electron. So we can discreetly put some extra information into these images or these mechanisms. Now, if I want to show you a bond breaking, let's show you two different bonds. Let's show you one where we've got the bond breaking and splitting into two free radicals, so they've got one electron each. And let's show you a bond splitting and it's going over onto the one group. So with this top one, let's split this two electrons that are in this bond. One's gonna go on to B and the other one is gonna go on to A. So what's going to happen is I'm going to produce A with a dot, indicating it's a free radical, it's got a lone electron, and B with a dot. Now with this next one, I'm going to show you that B will take both of those. So B's taking both of those electrons that are being shared and owning them now. Because it's picked up those two electrons, it's going to get a negative charge on it. Because A doesn't have those electrons, it's going to get a positive charge. Now I can draw these going back again. A plus plus B minus. Those electrons will go on to the plus and we would then form that A B bond. So we can kind of show quite a lot with these. Now diving a little bit further, that B, we can characterize that as the type of reactant that it is and that is a, either as a nucleophile or an electrophile and this one is a nucleophile and this one here is an electrophile. So nucleophile, the nucleus, is positive and the file means it loves positive. So nucleophile is something that seeks a positive charge so therefore it's negative or lone pair. Of electrons. Now an electrophile, electro, so that's negative, file, love, so it loves negatives. So it is going to be the opposite, so it's going to be positive. So it may be a formal positive or it may be a delta po positive. And again this could be a delta negative depending on how the mechanism is. But hopefully this gives you a little bit of a foundation to then be able to look at mechanisms and follow the mechanisms. So tracking the electrophile, tracking the nucleophile, tracking the movement of single or double electrons around the system. So where they're starting and where they're ending. So thank you for watching my video and I'll see you next time.